with someone you love can really make the holiday special, right? It sure can, but you know, a lot of people are alone at this time of the year or you've just gone through a breakup, but yeah. don't stress. We've got some tips for you this morning. Dr. Wendy Walsh from KFI Radio is here with some ideas to help beat the holiday breakup blues. So, doctor, well, if yep, you're this going is the through season. Oh, it is. Yeah. Why is it such a popular thing at this time of the year? Well, two things happen. One is over the holidays, if you go through the holidays with someone that you're thinking of breaking up with, it makes it really solid because what is a relationship? It's a bridge between tribes. Mm. So you get together with each other's family and it makes it very serious. So people like to do the breaking up before the holidays. But when it comes to divorce, mm -hmm. divorces are most often filed in the month of January. Why is that? So people Start think, fresh? I'm going to get through this one last holiday, mm -hmm. and then my New Year's resolution is going to be to live the life I've wanted to lead. Do you think people that should wait sense. or for a breakup over the holidays or just get it out of the way? There's no one right way to be a human being or be in a relationship, but um, it, these are just what the trends are doing. People tend to break up just before the holidays or they file for divorce in January. So what happens when you do have that breakup? How do you cope with that? What are some strategies? Well, you know, we have actually more unmarried adults in America right now than married adults. So you are not alone, okay? 50% <laughs> of the population, the adult population is single. Uh, there is a mating marketplace of every age group, so don't think for a minute that there isn't a mate for you no matter how old you are. They're all on those apps, by the way. Uh, but in addition, you want to surround yourself by people who remind you how lovable you are, mm -hmm. your family of origin, your kids if you have them, your best friends, uh, your historical friends, people who knew you when, and remind you of what a good person you are. You don't want to sit alone with a box of chocolates, mm. though. And you don't burn the clothes. You don't go on yeah. social media and badmouth anybody. You, you don't badmouth, but you should disconnect on social media Good because tip. those triggers. You know, in the olden days, ten years ago, <laughs> when we all broke up, we would just go to a different gym or a different dry cleaner and yeah. ignore our ex. What but now our ex is in our face all day long, so but you must unfollow. What if you have mutual friends? A lot of really close mutual friends. Yeah. What do you do? Disconnect from them as well? No, you tell the friends to not post pictures of him as much as, and okay. you just disconnect from him or her. Okay. Now, here's always the tough part for me. If I have a friend that's going through a breakup, what do you say to somebody at the holidays you, to get them through it? You remind them of how lovable they are. You mm. tell them what every single friend says, whether it's a guy or a girl. You say, you know what, that person wasn't good, good enough for you anyway. Here's what they did. And you, you collude with them in reminding them why that person wasn't appropriate. And then you think about the opportunities, the amazing people. The, you know what, the guy you're going to meet next, he's going to be. And let's think about people you could fix you up. Oh, but I'm not ready yet. Great, not yet. Let's go to the gym. Let's go to a spa. Let's hang out. But soon. But do you think I'll you're setting like you. the bar really high by saying that like you're going to meet that amazing person. What if they never do and then you're just setting them up for failure? All human beings live with hope and optimism. It's the thing that gets <laughs> about his bed in the morning. Otherwise we'd be in the fetal position all day long. <laughs> okay, but if you are that person that says I'm going to go back out, is it a good idea to have yeah. a rebound over right the holidays? Away? Well, this is always an important question, right? You know, the best way to get over somebody is to get <laughs> under somebody else. I'm sure you've heard that expression yeah. before. Yeah. Um, it does help temporarily uh, help you lick the wounds, but in the long run, if you find that you're having a pattern of dysfunctional relationships over and over again, I want to remind you that the big common denominator is you. Mm. So this breakup might be the time to let you know it's time for you to get into therapy mm. and figure out who you are and what might have gone on in your early childhood to create an attachment style that might be filled with more pain and longing than love and care. So really quickly, you talk about therapy right now, mating matters. You talk yes. a lot about the science of love. Yes. It doesn't really sound very romantic, but should you get <laughs> into that? It's very romantic. And knowing so, that. Look, it, I'm an evolutionary psychologist. My podcast, Mating Matters, is all about human mating strategy from an evolutionary perspective. We are wired to reproduce, mm -hmm. and you cannot win the game unless you know how to play the game. So it opens up the game board for us all and explains from a biological, sociological, and psychological reasoning of why we do what we do. Well, this has a little bit to do with science. Real quick, cocktail or no cocktail when you've gone through a breakup when you're going to a party? Mm. Uh, well, singular, cocktail, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Cocktail, Plural? maybe Don't, not. Yeah, probably not a good idea to drink when no, you're a little bit depressed. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol yeah. is a depressant. Then the floodgates start coming and yeah. all yeah. the stories. And you say things. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much. A thank lot of you. really good insight. All right, we've got some holiday fashion fun.